It is great to be here with you to cover the 19th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. Today we will be delivering more than 5,700 pounds of cargo to the ISS, including critical materials to support numerous science and research investigations that will occur on board the orbiting laboratory. We'll have more detail on that research later in today's webcast. This will be SpaceX's 12th launch this year, and we'll be launching a flight-proven Dragon spacecraft today for its third mission. It previously flew on CRS-4 in September 2014 and CRS-11 in June 2017. Both Falcon 9 and Dragon were designed with reflight in mind, so the vehicle hardware is built to support multiple missions with minimal refurbishment in between. Today we will be flying a brand new booster and recovering it on our autonomous drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, for use on future missions. And above the first stage is the second stage, which has a single Merlin vacuum or MVAC engine, which ignites after the first stage separates. The second stage is what will carry Dragon to its intended orbit, allowing the spacecraft to eventually rendezvous with the space station. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in startup. Go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. Two minutes, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicles pitching downrange. Nine engines look good, trajectory Attack looks good. Control. Coming up, we are going to have four events in rapid succession. It's gonna be main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed by stage separation, then second engine start one, that's the engine on our uh, second stage, followed by the uh, start of the boost back burn of our first stage. Looking at a view of our first stage, looking aft. That is a 
view inside the two stages as we wait for stage separation. Nico. And we just had a good main engine cutoff, a good stage separation. On the right side of your screen, you're seeing uh, ignition of the second stage engine. It has about a, a six minute burn ahead. And then on the left side of your screen, that is a forward looking view from our first stage where the boost back burn has also started successfully. It's gonna shut down here in just a few seconds. Crew access arm attached to the CST 100. Looks like it had us a nice airtight seal to keep those Florida mosquitoes out of your spaceship. And that looks like it's going to be nice and easy to load. I believe it'll hold a crew of five. I'll have to check on that. And then there below that is the service module to support it. So again, this is a brand new, gonna launch on the 19th, and it'll be the first, first ever. Boeing Starliner to go to orbit. Pretty exciting. We keep getting closer and closer to manned space flight here in the US. Now those are solid rocket boosters on the bottom of the RD-180. They've actually painted it a different color from what it normally is. And uh, even the top of the boosters, unless they just don't have the cap on them yet, that might be it. You may not have the cap on them yet. So pretty exciting stuff, very dependable rocket. I mean, this rocket has never had a failure, never had any issues whatsoever. It's a solid racket, the rocket, the costs. Of course, is a bit more than SpaceX, but uh, reliability, there's a lot to say for reliability. And this is where the crew will come up through this tower. On the back side of this, there's actually a cable. I don't know if we can see it from here. Yeah, there's the cable. Anyway, uh, that's an escape system for anybody that's in the, no, that's not it, but anybody up in that tower can get out of it on a gondola type escape system. That might be the cables going down that way. They've already used it, they've already tested it, but you can see them coming up from behind the rocket to the crew access tower. All right, well, we have a beautiful day out here and hopefully we'll have the same when this CST-100 Starliner makes its maiden voyage. Hey, thank you for watching.